And back here on the Brotherhood's blimp, just to see what they want from us today. Where's the, 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 the dude that's like in charge? I don't know, probably in the blimp. Probably. Not Maxon, the does other, the it, other does dude. Does it live outside? Why are you keeping tires up here? This is supposed to be like the flight control. They have the tires up here to, I mean, yeah, why would you have tires on an airship? They just weighs it down. Yeah, they're- What, what are you gonna re use the tires to repair? Unless it's ballast. There's a lot of junk here. I feel like you're wasting a lot of energy keeping this stuff in the air. Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Yeah, they don't explode first. All right, where is... Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. Okay. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? What if we don't uh, care about your respect, numbnuts? Paladin Dance has already briefed me on your search for the missing recon team. I want that resolved. Do you have anything to report? Didn't we already do that one? Yeah, Paladin Bandis was the only survivor. We already took care of that. Thank you, Nick. Brandis? What happened to him? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Nick, stop! <laughs> As I was saying, Knight, I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. Th that's not what you I were saying. I suspect this may be an inside job. Okay, now we're talking about this, I guess. Do you have any suspects? This is treason we're talking about. Oh no, In treason. In a case like this, you are either sure or you are not. Until then, everyone is a suspect. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Hmm. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? You have a base, do you? You know, that'd be a good place to store all of your crates and tires. The strangest thing is what was stolen. Rations. Only rations. I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, someone's hungry. But it is curious. D it means someone's hungry. Follow every lead. Look for anything suspicious, no matter how minor. But understand, treason is a serious charge. If someone in the Brotherhood is responsible for this, I need proof before I can act. Follow every lead. Leave no stone unturned. Your time is worthless to me. Yeah, great. I'll take care of it. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. Oh, so you want to talk now about- Now that you've had a chance to roam the Pridwin, what do you think, Knight? I'm kind of amazed that it still flies. I'm disappointed how callously you're judging her. It took the Brotherhood's sharpest minds over two years to design and more than twice that to build. What? I bet you if you weren't carrying so much crap, it would have flown earlier. No. You spent all that time and this is really the best they could come up with? She may not be beautiful, but she's safe, reliable, and heavily armored enough to keep the riffraff from bringing her down. With the Pridwin in our arsenal, we can mobilize our entire division, sending her anywhere that Elder Maxon wishes her to go. Her presence in the Commonwealth ensures that our mission to defeat the Institute will end in victory. Maybe you just think this thing is indestructible because your baseline is your explody birds? Yeah, the Crash Hawks. You have your orders, Knight. See to them. All right, you just you don't want to know anything else about uh, Brandis? That's fine. He's probably dead. I don't know. I'm, take... just, gonna, I'm just gonna take that. I hope... Why are you guys all just just doing stuff? <laughs> oh, I thought we were part of the Brotherhood now. I really like this giant dragon. Oh, you got flag. a new assignment? Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field scribes, prestigious. Beats guard duty. Why? What'd you get? Vanguard. You're kidding. Shipping out into the next rotation. I'll try to leave a couple of super mutants for you. Hey guys, there's a radiation storm going on. Maybe we should all go inside. Lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he gets to die. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Man, he gets the, all those cool suicide missions. If you got time, I need you to run an errand for me. Uh, One of our who... regular patrols hasn't been heard from in weeks. Who are you? I want you to check out the area and make sure nothing's happened to them. I. Why do you need my help? Because in the Brotherhood, we follow orders. If it were up to me, I'd be out there myself tearing up the wasteland for that patrol. But I got assigned to protect the base, so that's where I'm going to stay. But you, you're freelance, right? Well, that means there's nobody better served to find them. 
Yeah, it also means we don't take orders from you. Yeah, I'm not interested. Bye. Bye? No, actually, on second thought, yeah, tell me about it. Hey. If you got time, I need you to run an errand for me. Radiant Quest! Yay. I don't think it's to the death, though. I think they did a fight, and then there's, like, the one male that's, like... Oh, I'm sure sometimes it gets out of hand. I thought that was... I thought this bird was a turkey that was flying, and I was like, turkeys don't usually do that. They unless can. they're very motivated. Jeez! Oh, someone's trying to attack my base up there, huh? Did you build nothing but rocket turrets? Yeah, of course. Okay, then. Under this bridge. Why are we going under the bridge? Uh, because that's where part of the Lost Patrol is, I guess? Oh, uh, okay. In a, a hideout? They were hiding out under a bridge. All right, well, I am 100% not going to shoot an FAL indoors because I like my hearing and I like not having a major concussion. I see. It uh, looks like the missing patrol had a hard time with some ghouls. Oh, one's still alive! Are, are you real? You can't be. They never are. No, I'm with the Brotherhood, man. And maybe you can do me a favor and end my life. Look at me. I'm a freak. There's no place for my kind in our order. Knight Cassia said we had no choice but to kill ourselves. She said it was our sworn duty. It was so easy for her. I don't know how she found the courage, but I can't stop asking myself, is it the right thing to do? Am I not still human? If it's your duty to take yourself out, then why are you asking us? Yeah, it kind of sucks that you're a ghoul, but it'll be okay. Maybe I'm not human anymore, but I can still think for myself. I still have time. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. Well, don't mind us. We're doing cartwheels too. What the? F My guy. Okay. All right then. Let's quest, everybody. Wow, what a great quest. Join us for the next adventure. This is barely even radioactive down here. What the? F How did this even happen? He was thirsty and started drinking some of this. Oh my. Thank you. Um, a great a lunchbox. Oh, noodle cup. Hell yeah. I like how that card went <laughs> through the counter. Nebraska! Oh boy, Nebraska! Watch out for the moon in the great state of Nebraska. The moon will give you the moon madness in the state of Nebraska. Howdy, I'm the moon. <laughs> Here to make you go insane in the great state of Nebraska. I'm sorry, that joke isn't for any of you. That joke is for me and someone else. Okay. <laughs> So there's like a oil slick on the floor there. Oh, yeah, let's not fire a gun inside. What? Oh my God, what if he had shot himself and the whole building just blew up? <laughs> Took us all with him. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> all right, let's leave. Pick, oh, is that pick her up? I guess. Pick it's... her up. Ew, gross. Pokemon bugs. Ew, they kind of are, aren't they? What are not? No! <laughs> it used explode. It's super effective. I'm covered in bug guns. <laughs> Hey, you! Hey! So? Any news on that patrol? Yeah, they're all dead. Damn. I still can't believe it, but looking at your face, I can't say you're lying either. How did it happen? Everybody died because of the radiation. I should have figured it was something like that. I know Night Cassia, and she would have put two in the head before letting herself go feral. Let her death be an example to all of us. No, let's not. In any case, I'll make sure those tags get to where they need to be. Good work, soldier. Praise Bahamut to you, too. That was a weird salute. All right, Paladin Brad, I'll see you later. Did you guys hear? The new recruit took back Fort Strong. Well, let's not get too excited. I'm sure the Vertibird did most of the work. You're so cynical. I mean, yeah, not every war is one with technology. Sometimes it's the soldiers behind the weapons. I mean, yeah, the vertebrate did do most of the work. No, actually, the vertebrate blew up. I just remembered. The vertebrate exploded. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let me guess. Captain Kells sent you? Yep, that's right. Well, let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. Okay. Are we just going to go on to the other side of this chain link fence where everyone can hear We've us? We've converted this section yep. of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood wow, needs secure. to operate <laughs> passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. 
access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and mm -hmm. we track every mm -hmm. crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Oh yeah? You track all the shit on the floor too? Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Okay, where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Uh, why can you spare them? They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. But they won't have okay. answers to our questions because they're green. Well, tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost 10 years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. 10 years in the same spot, huh? Haven't moved to a different job? Oh, well, somebody doesn't want to succeed. All right, tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribes. All food. Dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. This guy says that he trusts the Brotherhood. They're never wrong. Although the scribes, yeah, they're definitely wrong. Oh, the scribes are definitely wrong, though. I've never done anything wrong, but it must be the scribes that are screwing up. Scribes are pogues. He's a poke too. He's he's a supply sergeant. <laughs> Poke around a little, then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. I'll tell you what's worth my time. Your ass. Let me look at it. Eh, it's pretty flat. Never mind. It isn't worth my time. I <laughs> you hear about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. He's standing inside a crate, dude. You already spoke with him. He questioned the entire unit. None of us saw anything. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? Why are you in those crates? What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. Hmm, you really think the base is that secure? I do. And even if something did make it into the supply depot, there are knights on duty in here at all times. We'd see something. Well, let's address the elephant in the room. How comfortable is it in between those crates? Also, tell us about the logistics units. That, that sounds interesting. There are what, 10 of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan up on the Pridwin. Wow, yeah, they definitely know exactly how many how many supplies there are when he knows roughly how many people are in his unit. <laughs> other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Uh, Lucia? Excuse me, Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. <laughs> in the crates? Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors same as everyone else, but that's all. What rumors have you heard? They say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies I... disappear <laughs> faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. <laughs> That's it. Night. Night time. Daytime. Night time. Copper wire. Copper wire. Why are you so wet? Daytime. Could you tell me where? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think we've met. Night Lucia Logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm a knight. Um, do you have time for some questions? You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but um, what do you want to know? Why is your forehead so glossy? What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But 
Why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Big ol' fat guy goes wandering by, just like, oh man, I ate too many rations. I mean, I love being a fat pig. <laughs> Easiest like, mystery ever. It's like the guy in basic training that tried to sneak some peanut butter out of the dining facility. What's it like working in logistics? Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Right. Well, until recently. Oh? What happened? It was, uh... It was after the battle. That, which battle? The, the battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. We did that! It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns no, we didn't blazing. do that. No. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down, and hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark, he hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself, once or twice a day. Do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm worried about him. Maybe he's praying at a memorial to the ghouls you killed. Mm. Maybe he has survivor's guilt. Excuse me. You seem to be having some issues, Initiate Clark. Can I push you? There you go! Fix ya! You're welcome! You're welcome. That'll be $20, please. Alright, go do your weird thing. Go pray at a memorial or whatever it is you're gonna go do. Missing some rations, I don't worry. Detective Nick is on the case. We'll get to the bottom of this. Look, I'm off duty. Woo. Leave me alone. Sure, sure. Yep, yeah, sure, sure, sure. What do you think this guy's doing? He's going downstairs to eat his grief away over killing ghouls. Ahem. Hey, what are you doing out here? I... nothing. Just out for a walk. Don't sneak up behind me like that. This place is bad enough. I'm gonna head back in a few minutes. Don't wait up. Just out here throwing food out to the fish? Is that what you're doing? Weird. Alright. There he goes. He's, what the... He's on the move. Where'd he go? What the... F what... Is there like a hidden passageway? What's going on? The hell did he go? He was here in this dead end and now he's not. Did he go around? Oh, he may have gone around the building. That's that's probably what he did. He probably left the, the left outside. Oh, yeah. Where is he? That crash plane, perhaps? Hmm. If only he left some footprints in the wet sand, that would have been helpful. Hmm. Anyone with that much firepower plans on using it. There's a door! No Let's go in that door. Let's go kill Initiate Clark. Shh. All right, now is the time for silence. No one say. I said silence. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a wrench. Shh. Too much loot. Kill the loot. Shh. It doesn't even make any sense, darling. I thought the loot was alive. Why is the element? Facilities. Initiate Clark must have gone to a different floor. Or maybe? Dang it! We don't have an ID card. Damn. This place could give a mutant nightmare. Shh. Shh. Nick! Nick, be quiet! Be quiet! And light discipline! Sorry, this is my first mystery. I'm 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 nervous. Looks like we're taking the stairs. It's better for my Ghoul! Ghoul! There's ghouls! Okay, so ghouls. Looks like they haven't cleared out all of them. There's ghouls under the airport. A silence weapon is a good idea. We can kill these ghouls without alerting Clark to our presence. Yes. Yes. We're handling the ghouls. Handily. With our hands. Does Clark know these ghouls are down here? I don't know. Is he going to be attacked when we get to him? He'll... Oh, we lost Clark. Wait, no, this is... Who the hell is Knight Rylan? Some dead guy, apparently. We're gonna be sneaky. That's why we turned the light back on. Cause I, I can't see anything. Fair enough. 
We'll, we'll be sneaky to an extent. I don't hear a peep. Damn, I dropped all of them and real now quick. I'm wondering why. You don't hear a peep because I just murdered the only things that were making noise in here. I wouldn't drink any of that without a dose of Radex first. Thanks, Super Sleuth! Nah, no, that's okay. I brought my life straw. Initiate clock, we're in your wall. What was that? It's a goal. Death by nuclear car isn't how I want to go. Shh, shh, woo! Shh. The middle of that car makes like no sense. I gotta be a nerd about this. This makes no sense. Like what, what is this car, a teacup ride? They have all the insides as its own build, and they place it in the vehicle. But this is the airport parking garage. So part of it was dismantled. Probably to fix other vehicles. We'll roll all these down the hill, maybe? Yeah, don't worry. It's gonna work great. Oh, that's- AHH! Oh, damn. <laughs> ah! Do you think Clark heard any of that? Ooh! Wow, that was some great foreshadowing, Piper. What was that noise? Oh, my car! Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, you, you may have brought the horde to us. They're attracted to Your sound, Zach. Your boy doesn't sound pleased. We stick around here Let's say we long. get out of here. <laughs> We're not here to cause stop any press. trouble. Nope, well, definitely not. Definitely not here to cause trouble. Parking lots in Fallout 4 are like TNT storage anywhere else. It's like the landmine factory. <laughs> the, the grain silo before OSHA was a thing. <laughs> Okay, well, he's not in here. At least I don't think so. He's not in the submerged part of the parking garage. No, I don't think he's in there. Okay. Nick! Nick, get- uh, it's fine. I need to solve the mystery of why my feet are wet. Hmm. Hmm, yep. Feet are still wet. Oh, shit! Now my feet are hot. <laughs> Woo! Is Clark setting that off with his dumb face? Hey. Oh. It's Something's out. Out. How hey, did the ghouls not set off there. the automated defenses? Yeah, how have they how have they just now set off the automated defenses? Clark, where are you? It's not safe here. Found more food. I couldn't leave them without food down there. I had to lock them in. I felt bad at first, but then I realized they hadn't eaten for weeks, and they're my responsibility. I hear they're moaning and growling. I can't imagine the suffering they must be going through. And it's all my fault. I'll do what I have to to protect my family. Somebody has been feeding things down here, most likely ghouls, because they're still their family, apparently. I wonder if Clark means their family in the sense that we're all humans in one big giant family, or if there were actual members of his family that died at the- that got turned into ghouls here. Probably the latter. Blue, we're not alone here. No more baby talk, Darlene! It's killing time! What's that? What up, what up? Ora, ora. Yes, yes, we hear you. Muda, 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 muda. Darlene likes JoJo. He's a big JoJo fan. Darlene is a big JJBA fan. Come on, dirty workers. Death to workers. Darlene is truly a member of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> They're here somewhere. Could be anywhere, I don't know. Oh. Gee, I wonder where they are. <laughs> yes, I'd love yeah, to come on. on. Nick, I think your circuits are misfiring. Mm, we're gonna get soaked, aren't we? What are you gonna do to Clark once you get to him? Um, I'm gonna ask him if he's the one that has been leaving notes in random places and has been feeding ghouls. That's my first, my first assumption is that Clark found his family and has kept them down here and has been feeding them because he can't bear to kill his family. Possibly. I always wanted to ride one of these things. Like is that neighbor? weird? Is that weird? Like I always wanted to ride the luggage thing, just like, just like sit down on this and just be like, Wee, and just like follow the luggage through, see where it goes. It would be fun if it weren't illegal. Also, I think Clark might be nearby, so let's let's try to be a little bit sneaky. Didn't hear us killing a wave after wave of ghouls. Yeah, he definitely didn't hear all the explosions. Come on, give it a try. There, that's it. Not bad, is it? Easy now. Hang on. I'll get you some more. <gasps> Can't <trust. sighs> Better disarm them loudly so he doesn't know we're here. Huh? Who's there? Your mother! Out. You're- I'm here! I'm here and it's time to take you, you in, Clark! 
What are you doing down here? I don't think we're alone. I... Nick! <laughs> Fantastic detective work once again! What the hell is going on here, Clark? Ugh. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. Now you're pretty bad at this. Yeah. So you stole the supplies, huh? And you've been feeding the ferals! Yes. Hey. It's been working, Hi. too. What do you mean, it's been working? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Yeah. Would you kill him, too? Just because of who he is? No. No. Kill him because he's a mutant. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Was he a feral? What difference does it make? It makes a big Weren't difference. Were they all human ones? I joined the Brotherhood two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport... The ghouls. Sorry, folks, won't be chewing they on just us. Kept coming. After the battle, I, I needed some time to think. I found this place, and the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. My guy. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. My you guy. Do you think I did the right thing? No. No! Do you? I... I don't know anymore. What are you gonna do with them? What about the ghouls? What are you gonna do with them? Dialogue Queen try. Just let them be. So long as they stay here, they aren't hurting anyone. We'll execute you, because your crimes are unforgivable. That's unforgivable. Eh, you probably should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But it's the honorable thing to do. You might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my key card. Yeah, we'll clean up down here, don't worry. I'll be up soon. All right, let's just go handle this real quick. Damn it! No! What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? What do you mean... This guy, oh my god, this guy is all kinds of stupid. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't exactly agree with the Brotherhood when they're like, death to all ghouls, and there's a ghoul that's like, yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm still fine. Just because I got some warts down there doesn't mean I'm not still human, you know what I mean? Wait, I just have a skin condition. Not good enough. You must die because you are not pure. Yeah, because as we all know, this Brotherhood is just the Enclave. This guy is so dumb, though! Yeah. It's like, my guy, they're feral ghouls! It would be one thing if we came down here and he's throwing food down there to a bunch of ghouls that are still talking and being like, hey, thanks for the food and thanks for keeping our secrets safe. We don't want to get murdered by the Brotherhood. Then I would be like, hey, man, why don't we work together and get these ghouls out of here? Because this is fucked up. Ooh, that would be a good quest. That would be a good quest. I, if the Brotherhood is going to be full Enclave, then we'll just go full eugenics and uh, kill the lower IQ soldiers to raise the collective IQ. Yeah. Let's see how stupid his journal is. Five more crates today, three cram, one mac and cheese, and some kind of dried meat. Judging from the stents, it's probably mole rat. Ghouls didn't touch the mac, but they almost came to blows over the mole rat jerky. They even ate the cram. I think they're starting to get used to it. Ghouls were agitated today. I didn't get enough food. One of the four crates, one was mac and cheese again. Two were mislabeled vacuum tubes. Those vacuum tubes were bound for a hospital, but it's fine. I'll just leave them down here. <laughs> Nobody will actually need the vacuum tubes. I guess all those children at that hospital will have to die. I'll have to be more careful, otherwise this whole thing is going to fall apart. If the ghouls get hungry enough to start raiding the base, someone else will find the tunnels and report them. I can't have any more deaths on my hands. Six crates today, all meat. That should be enough to satisfy them. I'm going to have to cut back. I think people are starting to get suspicious. They ran a full inventory today. Night Rail has been watching me. And Lucia, I don't think she figured it out yet. But I can't take any chances. I'll check her journal when I get back to the ship. Just to be safe. And he's spying on people. Hello, Holy Shotgun. Hello. So, was he just taking a pallet jack and bringing down crates yeah, of meat? Yeah, I guess he was just bringing these crates down here and stealing all this food. I, I guess he was a new recruit, so it's it's not a big loss, oh, right? Oh, man, his friend is going to be pissed. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, if you're done here, clear out. Uh, You've wasted enough of my time. Uh, 
Before we talk to that guy, let's, uh... Yo, why do I have to report to her first? Not right now, please. Um... If you need something, report to Sergeant Gavel. Okay. Uh, wh what? That Sergeant Gavel's right there. Wh oh, wait, no. What is my current quest? I think it's the guy right here. Captain Port Kells. Report to Captain Kells. Okay. Yeah, we're not even talking to these... I don't know why I would... We'll no, you know what? Actually, no, that kind of makes sense. You wouldn't necessarily want to be telling everybody that, like, Hey, uh, your best friend got ripped apart by feral ghouls. It's sad that there's not an option, though. Yeah. It, it, it's just another Fallout 4 quest. It's it's not bad, but it's definitely not good. <laughs> it's just okay. It's a, it's a quest. This entire... Man, if I could sum up this entire game in a meme, it's... 3.6 rope gun. Not great, not terrible. Okay. That's this entire game. Mm. Anyway. Report, Knight. Have you completed your investigation into the missing supplies? Oh, you bet your sweet bippy I have. Oh, man. Feral ghouls stole them. <laughs> Feral ghouls stole them. You can't be serious. Feral ghouls snuck into our base, <laughs> raided supplies, and escaped multiple times without anyone noticing? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, also the report's wrong. <laughs> That's what Sergeant Gavel said. Huh. Very well. Wait, you just believe that? <laughs> you idiot! I'll have Tegan keep a closer watch on his men. These mistakes are a waste of everyone's time. Very well. We'll consider this matter closed. We have squires in need of training. They're young recruits. They need a good example to follow. Someone to emulate. No. I think it's time for you to pass... <laughs> nope. Again. I, I don't want to rag on the game, but it would have been way more interesting if you had gone down there and he's feeding a bunch of not feral ghouls. You know what would have been really funny if you could open the door and then he didn't attack you and he was like, uh, th now it's finally time to prove that they'll be okay. And then they just all ran up and devoured him <laughs> yeah. because they're like, food comes from that. So they just <laughs> killed him and ate him.